Hi, it's Carrie, and today we're going to make a fun project using this waffle flower stamp set called Stay Cool. We'll be using a few of these images in this stamp set and a distress marker spritzer, distress markers in a couple of different colors, and also some distress ink. So let's get started. So first I'm going to take that adorable stamp of Big Bear lounging around in his swim trunks and I'm going to stamp it on this card base of Nina Solar White. I'm using my Misty here. I like to use my Misty especially when I'm using brand new stamps to me so that I can double stamp it and get a nice crisp clear impression. And this is VersaFine Onyx Black ink which I love. I've already cut out a mask here using masking paper and I'm going to place that right over Bear so that I can stamp the towel and it will look like it is stamped behind him. And now we're going to stamp that bird right on top of his belly. I'm using the same ink and I love this bird. It looks like his little feet are just stretched out right in front of him. So cute. I have a mask I'm going to place over that bird as well. So now I have a piece of paper that I've just ripped and I'm going to place it over this card to represent the beach. And we're going to take that first color of Distress Ink, which is Antique Linen, and sponge some along the edges and also around the image to represent that beachy hill that he's going to be lying on. Now I'm doing this rather quickly. I've sped this up for the video. I wish I could ink this fast. And here's the second color, Vintage Photo, which I'm going to ink around the edges. It's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to spritz over the top of that so that it looks like there's a bunch of little sand grains on this beachy hill for Big Bear. So now I'm just going to clean up my surface here a little bit and take that Distress Spritzer and line up our first color which is a vintage photo. We're going to put that in and line up the point of the marker with the spritzer. I like to test it on the paper first before I put it on the real card then you just squeeze and it makes these beautiful little sand grains as you can see. I'm just holding down that paper here but if you're going to try this you may want to tape it down. I noticed that it came up just a little on the edges there. So now I'm going to take the second color which is a little bit darker and it's ground espresso. Line that up with the point and tighten the marker in. And then we're going to spritz that right over the top. And you can see that it, this is creating some beautiful variation in the sand color. So now that we've created the sandy beach for Big Bear to lie on, we are going to create a little bit of sunshine to, so he can have a sunshiny day. And I'm just cleaning up my surface here. We're going to use a sun ray stencil. And you can use any sun stencil that you have, or if you don't have one, you can actually create some rays using some tape and I've done that before it turns out great and here you can see I've just taped down my base my card base and I'm going to also tape that stencil down and take some mustard seed distress ink and just sponge that on and then I'll just check this to make sure that it's what I want it to look like and just peel up a, some of that tape there to take a peek and you can see it's creating some beautiful sun rays so now just alter that stencil a little bit, just adjust it a little bit so that it's covering those rays we did. And then I'm going to take some Wild Honey, which is a little darker of a Distress Ink, and ink that over to the side of the Mustard Seed rays. And you'll see that it's a little bit darker, a little orangier, and it's going to create a double ray of sunshine, which I love. So now it's time to add the sentiment. So I'm going to bring out my Misty here again and I'm going to use the sentiment that came in the set that says stay cool. And you can see that when it came the stamps were together in one long sentiment but I cut them apart because I wanted them to be layered on top of each other. Now I know that some of you don't like to cut your stamps apart and I decided that it was just easier than to mask this sentiment. You can always put the stamps together as they were originally intended. So now here's my favorite part, the reveal. Doesn't he look so happy? I really wish I was there with him. Now I'm going to color in this image 
using my Prismacolor pencils. And I'm leaving this in to show you that I like to use three different shades of, of each color so that I have a light, a medium, and a dark. Then I'm going to take uh, my blending stump here, and that was a little sandpaper, and no, that is not Carmex. That is Gamsol or odorless mineral spirits. And I use that to just blend those colors together beautifully. It really does melt that wax for the pencils, and it just comes together so nicely. It's a little bit hard to see on that small image of the bird, so I'm using these same colors on the towel, and you'll probably be able to see it better as I complete this image. I am going to turn on a little bit of music for you so you can watch this, and I'll be back when the coloring is finished. So now that we're done with the coloring, I'm going to attach this to a card base. And off camera, I went ahead and colored the little coconut drink for Big Bear with the same colored pencils, and you'll see that at the end in the pictures. I'll attach that to the card as well using some foam tape. So just attaching this to the card base, and there you have Big Bear and Bird enjoying a beautiful sunny day. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And for more information about the products used, go to waffleflower.com. 
Visit us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for more creative ideas. Thank you for joining me today.